Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is 100 plus JavaScript top coding interview questions and answer series. We are at question number 22 today. And the today's question is how to empty an array. Right? Now this is uh, a something uh, mostly an opening question when they start you with the coding round or even for junior developers. They just want to start testing the waters. So they'll start with throwing you such basic questions first just to see what's your um, knowledge and how do you approach this particular problem so let's go ahead and find out the answer there are because there are multiple ways to do this so don't be too excited yet i will show you all the four ways all right before i show you the hands-on coding uh, i want to inform you that i have launched an ebook which covers 100 plus javascript code snippets that every developer must know these coding snippets will help you become a better developer and also these coding snippets by practicing them you can definitely crack the front-end developer interview role to find out the book go to arctutorials.gumroad.com if you see any issue please write to me at surya.aradhi at gmail.com all right for today's question how to empty an array right so now this can be done in multiple ways the interviewer may throw you a scenario and say I don't care how you empty an array, just empty it. That's when you will use the first technique, which is just assign an empty array to existing array. It will become empty, right? That's the most shortest way. Now, let's say your interviewer says, no, I don't want you to assign empty array. Instead, try other technique. Then what you can do is you can try take an array and put that length to zero. This is yet another simple way. Now, let's say he uh, the interviewer tells you can you use a pop method array pop method and empty an array so you'll have to loop that particular array and then pop each element individually let's say the interviewer now tells you can you use spl splice method and empty the array so you can use the fourth method which is you will use array dot splice and zero comma the length of the array so it would splice all the elements all right pretty interesting ways to do that so let's go ahead i'll show you all the four uh, in detail so that you know how to do how to an empty array in different ways let's go to hands-on i'll open the editor all i have is empty script tag nothing else here all right um, okay so now first I, we need a array right so i'm going to say let uh, students equal to and i'll create an array uh, it can be any array string etc whatever you would like i'll keep it simple just to show you how it works all right so i have an array now let's save it and do a console log and say students dot length and in the next i'm just going to log the students this is what we'll use as a running example all right so i have the open here I'm going to open the developer tools all right so now we see that there are six uh, items six elements in this particular array and we have printed the array which shows six so far so good now let's go ahead and uh, learn the technique number one okay so technique number one now what we'll do is we'll just empty student start students is equal to empty this is the technique number one i showed you to empty an array right now let's go ahead and refresh this and now you see it's zero and empty array so the basically the array values are gone because you just assigned an empty array all right so now let's see the next technique again there is no right wrong it's about how you want to use it right so here i'm going to say dot length is equal to zero so i'm going to comment of this so that we don't so this is the second technique now I've enabled which is students dot length equal to zero still the output is same it will empty the array okay this is the second technique now this third way is using a while loop and then popping it out so I'm going to comment this as well and now I'll say while students dot length greater than zero all you have to do is pop them okay now let's see yet again you see that the values are gone it's the same thing here we are using a while loop and using the pop method remember your interviewer can ask you these questions and 
be very specific and say that use pop method use splice splice method right so you should be able to know and perform these things on the go all right now how do we use uh, splice so i'm going to say array dot splice remember it takes two values the start value and the delete count so zero comma i'm going to say students dot length that's it this is yet another way of removing and emptying an array no change in that if i refresh right cool so these are the four different ways how you can empty an array right i hope um, it's clear if you still have any doubts please reach out to me in the comment section i'll be happy to help you remember to get the ebook uh, for more such javascript coding questions that are often asked in interviews also you will need these coding basic things in your day to day programming life you can get the book at arctutorials.gumroad.com if you have any uh, doubts or if you are not able to get to the book please write to me in the comment section i'll help you out with it thank you so much for joining i'll see you in the next episode we'll continue this series of top 100 javascript coding question and answer series thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode